Hello everyone, it's Miss Celeste from the library. I'm going to read to you today a mystery. And the name of the mystery is called King and Kayla in the Case of the Secret Code. Now this book was written by Dory, Dory Butler, so that's the author, the person that wrote the book. And it was illustrated by Nancy Myers. So Nancy Myers would be the person that drew the pictures. And over here is just a dedication. So let's, when we begin the story, chapter one, and we hear the doorbell ring, ding dong. Hello, my name is King, I'm a dog. So this must be King. This is Kayla, she is my human. I'm trying to teach Kayla a new trick. It's called the get King some cheese trick. I love trees, cheese, it's my favorite food. I don't know a dog that likes cheese, that's funny. Here's how the trick works. I go to the refrigerator, I sit, I say, please get, some get me some cheese. Kayla is having a hard time learning this trick. I say it louder, and you can see he has his mouth open really wide. Please get me some cheese. Don't bark, King, Kayla says. I'm not barking, I'm just trying to teach Kayla a new trick, but she doesn't understand. I try singing. Let's go to the refrigerator. Let's get King some cheese. Looks like he's howling over here. I dance around the kitchen. Oh, I get it, Kayla says. You want to go outside. No, I don't want to go outside, I say. Why do humans always think dogs want to go outside? Ding dong. Someone's here, someone's here, I say. Kayla and I race to the door. Who's there, Kayla? She peeks out the window. Then she opens the door. I crowd in beside her to see who it is. My tail droops. No one is there. Hmm. Chapter 2. The Letter There's a letter on our doormat. I pick it up and give it to Kayla. Thank you, King, she says with a smile. We go back inside. Kayla opens the letter. Her smile disappears. I can't read this, she says. And as you can see here, the letter, it's all different letters. C, D, Z, Q, J, Z, X, K, Z, etc. They don't really make sense. They're just a bunch of letters. There aren't any vowels in most of the words, Kayla says. You can't make words without vowels. I don't know what vowels are, and these are the only words I know how to read. Kayla, K-A-Y-L-A, -A, King, K-I-N-G, Vet, V-E-T, Pound, P-O-U-N-D. None of these words are in Kayla's letter. Who would leave a strange letter on our doormat? Kayla asks. Sniff, sniff. The paper smells like oatmeal. I love oatmeal. It's my favorite food. It also smells like Kayla's friend Jillian. Could Jillian have left it? Hmm. Ding dong. Someone here, someone here, I say. Kayla and I race to the door. Is it Jillian? Kayla peeks out the window. Then she opens the door. It's not Jillian, it's Mason. I love Mason. He's my favorite boy. I hop up and kiss him all over. No king, Kayla says. Oops, I forgot. Kayla doesn't like it when I kiss other humans. Someone rang my doorbell and ran away, Mason tells Kayla. Was it you? No, she said. Someone rang my doorbell and ran, ran away too. They left a letter, but I can't read it. I got a letter too, Mason says. I can't read my letter either. Kayla and Mason put their letters together side by side. They're almost exactly the same, Kayla says. The second word is the only one that's different. That doesn't help, Mason said. We don't know what any of the words say. And as you can see, Mason's has just a bunch of letters too, and none of the words seem to make sense, just like Kayla's letter. Chapter three, making list. Who would leave us letters that we can't read? Mason asks. Sniff, sniff, King sniffing. Mason's letter smells like Jillian too. I think Jillian left the letters, I say. But Kayla and Mason don't understand me. It must be someone we both know, Kayla says. Jillian, I say again. But since they can't, I guess they can't understand dog language because <laughs> he's barking. Kayla looks at me. Do you need to go outside, King? No, I say. I'm trying to tell you who left the letters. That must have been frustrating for him. Why would someone leave us letters that we can't read, Mason asks. Maybe it's a game, Kayla says. Maybe it's supposed to be fun, like solving a mystery. It's a mystery, all right, Mason says, but I don't know how to solve a mystery. 
I do, Kayla says. She grabs a notebook and pencil. Let's make a list of everything we know about this case, she says. The same person left both letters. We know that. It's someone we both know. The two letters are the same, except for the second word. If I could write, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we know. That's what King is thinking. Jillian left the letters. <laughs> now let's make a list of what we don't know about this case, Kayla says. Who sent the letters? What do the letters say? How do we figure out what the letters say? If I could write, now King is thinking this, I would add this to Kayla's list of things we don't know. Why did Jillian leave the letters and run away? Now we need a plan, Kayla says. I have a plan. King is thinking, find Jillian. <laughs> Chapter 4, King's Plan. I run to the door. I need to go outside. I need to go outside, I shout. I think King needs to go outside, Kayla tells Mason. Yes, yes, yes. I dance around to show her that I really do want to go outside this time. Kayla grabs my leash and snaps it to my collar. Then we all go outside. Sniff, sniff. I smell Jillian's scent. It's on our front porch. It's on our front steps. It's on our sidewalk. Kayla holds tight to my leash. Slow down, Kim, she says. As you can see, he's running down the street. But I can't slow down. I got Jillian's scent. I follow Jillian's scent down the street. Kayla and Mason have to run to keep up. I follow Jillian's scent around the corner. King, Kayla yells, slow down. I mean it. She pulls on my leash. But I pull harder. I pull the leash right out of Kayla's hand. Come back here, King, Kayla screams. She stomps her foot. You are being a bad dog. I stop. I don't like it when Kayla says I'm a bad dog. Doesn't sound like Kayla understood what King was trying to do. But then I see Jillian. She is only 80, 11, 11 to 10 houses away. I'm not a bad dog, I tell Kayla. I'm a good dog. You'll see, I'm going to help you solve this case. I run towards Jillian. Kayla sees Jillian too. Help Jillian, she screams. King is loose, help me catch him. Jillian turns, she runs towards me. I let her catch me. Guess what? She's got another one of those letters in her hand. Looks just like the letters she left for and Kayla and Mason. Chapter five, cracking the code. Kayla grabs my leash. Thanks, Jillian, she says. What's that in your hand? Mason asks Jillian. Jillian puts the letter behind her back, but it's too late. Kayla and Mason have already seen it. It's a letter for Asia, Jillian says. I need to drop it off at her house. Looks like the letters we found on our front porches, Mason says. Did you leave letters on our porches, Kayla asks. Jillian blushes. Yes, she says, but we can't read them, Mason says. That's because they're written in code. You have to crack the code. It's a real mystery. How? Mason asks. I'll give you a hint, Jillian says. Z equals A. What kind of hint is that? Mason asks. Jillian just smiles and walks away. Sorry, went the wrong way there. We go back to our house. Kayla and Mason put their letters on the kitchen table. Let's change all the Z's in our letters to A, Kayla said says. That looks better, Mason says. Yes, because now we have more vowels. See, A is a vowel. The words still don't look re look like real words, Mason says. If Z equals A, then maybe A equals B, Kayla says. And maybe B equals C. And C equals D, Mason says. Let's change all the letters to the next one in the alphabet. After a little while, Kayla says, I know what the first line says. Me too, Mason says, dear Mason. Mine says, dear Kayla, Kayla says. They read the rest together. Dear Kayla, come to a secret spy party. My house, Saturday at noon. Love, Jillian. Hooray, we've cracked the code, Kayla says. Now maybe they can crack my code. I go to the refrigerator, says King. I sit, I say, please get me some cheese. What's the matter, King, Kayla asks. Do you need to go outside? I groan. I know what he wants, Mason says. He walks over to me. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm going to get some cheese. He picks up my ball. I think King wants to play fetch. 
close enough. I love to play fetch. It's my favorite thing. The end. That was a really fun story. Maybe you can think of some sort of uh, secret code or some sort of mystery that you can do with your friends this summer or during this time. Okay, thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye.